This is a seal procedure for a series three 10 mil stainless steel pump. The tools recommended for this procedure are a pair of pliers, a quarter inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. The materials you'll need that are provided with the seal kit is the seal install and removal tool and the actual seal itself. Before we get started, make sure you power down your pump. Make sure your power cord is unplugged from the back, as well as any communication lines you may have hooked to the back. And remove all tubing from your fluid path, your outlet and your inlet. remove the head from the pump, first disconnect the outlet line using your half inch wrench to put on the check valve housing and the quarter inch wrench to remove the tubing. Next, you're going to need to lo loosen the thumb nuts to hold the head onto the pump. Let's get your pair of pliers. Loosen them up. And remove them the rest of the way with your hands. After that, you can grab the head and just pull it off. If any of the gaskets or backup washers come off with it, go ahead and slide it back on just so you can keep track of them. To remove the seal from the head, you're going to use the provided seal tool. piston will go through and the edge will grab the edge of the seal with the edge of the tool and just pull it out. Discard the old seal. Now when installing the new seal it's important you have the right orientation. You have a solid side and you have the side where you can see the spring. When you install the seal, you want the solid side facing you, and you want the spring down towards the head. Place the seal on the seal insert tool with the solid end facing the insert tool. When installing the seal, board out hole for the seal, slide it over, and then press down. After installing the new seal and or installing the new check valves, you gotta put the head back on the pump before you put it on. Make sure you have the right orientation so your flow path is correct. And the inlet is always the bigger of the two ports. So that would be your inlet. And that would be your outlet. And the outlet always goes up. So after you figure out the orientation, 
slide the pump head back on. Wait till you can feel it pressing against the piston. Put your thumb in the middle and then press down. And you grab your thumb nuts. Come on. Tighten them down finger tight. And grab your pair of pliers. Turn it about an extra quarter of a turn. And then hook up any lines that you might have disconnected. Successfully reinstalled.